Hey guys, and welcome back to RV and Fit with Rebecca Venata. I have been getting a lot of requests for stretching videos. So I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite stretches that I do, not necessarily every day, but definitely every week, okay? So a few things you might want is a couch, a bed, or a chair, we're going to use that first. And if you have a rope of some sort or a big towel, go ahead and get that handy. Make sure you subscribe so you know when the next workout or stretch video is up and let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so we're starting on the couch or the chair or the bed. And what we're going to do is walk the knees out. I want you to keep your knees and your hips aligned and you're gonna stretch your arms forward. When you do this, it's easy to go into this position here. I want you to take that tailbone, tuck it down toward the floor. So it's like a little pelvic tilt. You'll feel those hip bones slide up. The rib cage is gonna pull up. And from here, we're gonna let the chest drop down. Now, I want you guys to turn your head forward. I'm gonna periodically look over here at you to make sure you're doing it right, right? So the shoulders are gonna open here. I'm gonna drop my chest and I'm going to keep my tailbone down. So instead of put, coming here, okay, you're gonna drop that tailbone, now pull the chest down. From here, roll your shoulders back and take the top of your head all the way away from your tailbone here. So we're really elongating the spine and this is great to open the chest and the shoulders and decompress. So let the chest fall, rotate those shoulders, tuck the tailbone down and let your chest drop naturally. Don't drop the head here. You're gonna keep your neck nice and long. So that's why here the head goes away from the tailbone. So we're gonna take a deep breath in, exhale out. It's really easy to let that tailbone drop up to pull up. I really want you guys to squeeze your abs in, tuck the tailbone, and keep dropping the chest, keep lengthening the spine, top of the head pulling away from the shoulders. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out. So here you can do quite a few breaths. I'm not gonna do the whole thing super long, but I want you guys to get a little intro into this. So deep breath in through your nose, and exhale out. So after we do a few breaths here, you can hang here as long as you need. We're going to lift the chest up and we're gonna come a little more forward. I want you to take your elbows and give them a nice hold and place them onto the couch. So you can see my knees are still here aligned with my hips. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna let my head drop. I'm gonna keep my neck long and my tailbone down. So once again, I'm back in this position. I want you guys to pull your shoulders back, pull the top of your head forward, Drop the tailbone and drop the chest. One deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out. Try to think of your chest just melting down toward the floor. You're looking down, but your head is pulling away from those shoulders. Again, deep breath in. Exhale out. So this is another great hold I love. You can be here as long as you need. You're gonna feel a lot of tension in the neck. That's totally normal. And from here, what we're gonna do is release the neck. So I'm gonna let you guys come up, bring the elbows as close as you can together and place your palms together in prayer position. From here, I'm still not releasing this. I'm keeping that tailbone down. Now I'm gonna drop my head in between my arms here. So releasing all the tension in the neck and the shoulders, keeping that tailbone down, let your chest really fall down to the ground and let your head feel like a heavy bowling ball, you guys. So just let it go. You can hang here as long as you need to. Again, tailbone down, breathing, chest down, and dropping the head down to relax. You're gonna keep your fingers facing toward the ceiling versus facing forward here. So keep them up. The closer your elbows are in, the more of the stretch you're gonna get. If you don't have that flexibility, you just go where you can. A lot of tension in that neck. I don't know if you feel it, but you can slowly take the head to the right. Just keep it hanging and slowly take the head to the left. Keep letting it drop down, turn to the right. Breathing, turn to the left. Good, and when you're done here, take one deep breath in. 
and exhale, release that. So you're gonna feel a lot of that tension and that stretching from here in the shoulders, chest and neck. You should feel a lot more opened. So go ahead and grab your towel or your strap and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna come down onto the floor, onto our back. We're gonna bring the right knee into the chest. When you do this, try to drop that opposite hip down. So that means try not to have it up this way. Try to pull it down, keep those abs engaged and bring your knee all the way into your chest. Give it a nice hold. And from here, what you can do with your ankle is some nice big round circles, okay? So we'll just go one way as we breathe. Keep dropping your left hip down and then reverse. Roll the ankle, breathing into your nose out through your mouth and from here we're going to hug that knee and we're going to take it open to the right once again important to keep that left hip pulling toward the ground if it's up you're too tight here i want you just to take that knee just a little open then but if you can really try to open up that hip open up the knee stay long in the spine and pull your left hip you're going to feel a stretch on that left side too if you're doing that right so bringing the knee in relaxing your shoulders one deep breath in through your nose and exhale out. One deep breath in and exhale. From here, you can take the knee back in to the chest. Take your strap if you need it for more, um, if you don't have the flexibility and you're gonna push your foot toward the ceiling. So if you can hold your foot here without lifting your chest up, great. If not, I want you to try to keep your shoulders down your head relaxed. And then from here, I'm pushing my heel to the ceiling and I'm bringing this leg closer toward me. So again, left hip pulling down, right leg is now stretching, hamstring. Push the heel toward the ceiling and from here you can point your toe, flex your heel, and point, relax your shoulders, flex. You feel it, it's a different area of stretching when you pull that heel back and then when you stretch that toe away from you, flex and point. So you can do that as long as, you, as many times as you'd like. We're gonna stop here. From here, you're gonna bend your knee in. So I'm gonna bring this drop closer in. My knee is bent. Left hip is still pulling down. And now I'm pulling my knee toward my chest, kind of opening up that hip and breathing, holding for five, four, three, Two, now stretch that leg back up. We're gonna see if we can keep pulling this leg closer to us. So pull the knee into your chest. Five, breathe four, three, two, extend. Ooh, and bend one more time. Five, breathe four, and three, and two, and stretch. Now hold that strap with your right hand. You're gonna let that leg come over to the side. Once again, my left hip is staying down and my right foot is pulling away out to the side of the body. You can also hold the strap with the left side if you want, depends on your flexibility. Don't strain this, okay? So if this is your limit, that's where you go. If you can go more, great. It's not worth it to pull something stretching. So from here, we're gonna take that leg back up and now we're gonna slightly cross over the body. Once again, this leg doesn't move. Now I'm straightening the leg and just a little cross over the body. You're going to feel that right back here on that side and it's intense. So breathe through it and through your nose. Exhale out. Let that right hip kind of drop into the floor if you can. Holding again, each of these counts you can hold as long as you'd like. 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes. All right and breathe in, take it right back up. So from here, we're gonna bend this knee and we're gonna cross it over our left. I want you to push this knee open and bring the opposite knee up. If you don't have this flexibility, you could use your towel or your strap to pull this leg in so you can relax your shoulders down. I have the flexibility, so I'm going to pick, put my arms in between, give my left leg a hug, and I'm gonna use my elbow to push my knee open. A lot of people stretch like this, this does nothing. You wanna extend and push that hip open so we can get more flexibility and mobility in those hips. So use your elbow, relax your neck and your shoulders, chin is in, and bring your right foot closer to you. One deep breath into your nose. Exhale out. 
one deep breath in and exhale. I'm going to take this knee and I'm going to cross it over. When I do this, I'm going to take my right arm over and I'm dropping the shoulders down. So my right shoulder pulls to the ground. I'm looking to the right and I'm twisting to the left. For those of you who have really tight backs, you're going to bend your knees here and then cross. And that'll feel a lot better on your lower back. If you have the flexibility though, you can keep that leg straight, a little tension on that knee, pressing down, reaching, rolling the shoulder to the floor. One deep breath in and exhale out. So breathe in, bring that knee back in and exhale, let that go. Good. So we're going to switch to the other side. So extend your right leg, bring your left knee for a hug all the way in. When you're hugging that knee, go for a few ankle rolls big circles, deep breathing, and then reverse that roll. Yeah. Keep that breath going. Keep hugging that knee in. Drop the right hip down. Go ahead and activate that. So this is opening. And now open that left knee to the side, keeping the hip pulling down on the right. So we're pulling open and breathing. Always deep breathing through your stretches. One more deep breath in and exhale. We're going to bring that knee back into the center and grab our strap or a towel and we're going to place it on that foot. So from here, relax your shoulders, bend those elbows and push the heel toward the ceiling. Again, this hip stays pulling down and we're going to point the toe and flex. And when you do this, you'll get a good idea of what side is feeling a little more tight than the other, a little less flexible, a little more painful, and those are the things you need to just pay attention to. Point that toe, point, point, point. You feel that stretch in the foot, like what the heck? <laughs> and flex, we're gonna do one more. Point that toe, I'm more aware of it on this side, and flex. now. Bring that strap in and bend that knee. Again, right hip is down. Bring that left knee toward you, inhale. And then exhale, try to extend and stretch it further toward you. Again, inhale, bend that knee in to your chest. And exhale, stretch. Inhale, bend. And exhale, extend. So we're gonna put that strap into the left hand to start. We're gonna open up to the side and keep dropping that right hip down. I'm gonna to switch to my right hand. Feel like when I cross over, I can kind of pull it closer to me. Again, respect your body. We're all different here. Don't pull because you're trying to get it further to you. Try to focus on letting that muscle relax as it opens and stretches here. One deep breath in. Exhale out. Oof. We're gonna cross over. Left hip pulls to the floor. We're crossing over, we're breathing. We're pushing the heel away from us. We're feeling this behind that knee, that calf, outer hamstring here, and keep the neck relaxed, shoulders down. Little crossover, pulling your left hip toward the ground. I think that's the trick there. Cause I can do this, right? But what happens when you pull that hip down, then you get that stretch and it's for real. Ooh. So breathe into it. One deep breath in. And exhale out. Good. So we're going to let the strap go. We're going to bend that left ankle over the right quad. Once again, you can use your strap or pull through and push the knee away with your elbow. Tuck the tailbone down. So instead of coming up here, I can do that too. But if I want to get more of a stretch, I'm going to drop the tailbone down like a little pelvic tilt. And then I'm going to pull from there. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out. Feel free to hold this as long as you need to, you guys. From here, we're going to do our rotation. Remember, tightness in the back. You're going to keep those knees stacked to twist. If you're okay with that twist, with that right leg straight, you're going to go here and Take the left shoulder, pull it down into the ground. A little tension on the knee. Remember, you can be here if you need to. 
and look to your left. Breathe nice and deep. Keep rotating that shoulder to the floor, breathing into your back. One deep breath in. Exhale out. And from here, we're gonna breathe in, bring the knee up. We're gonna bring both knees into the chest, rock back and forth. Just give yourself a nice little hug into that lower back. One deep breath in through your nose and exhale out. Okay, so from here, we're gonna turn over. We're gonna go back to the shoulders just a little bit. This is one of my favorites. So what you're gonna do is take your arm to a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna go to the other side. So here, 90 degree angle, and I'm going to take my, my top leg, my, okay, let's go here. Right elbow down, 90 degree angle. Left palm pushes to the floor, and left leg is gonna come back. So I look like this, okay? So here you're getting into your chest and your shoulder. Respect your, 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 your body here and we're breathing. This top leg here is just kind of relaxing over. Sometimes it feels better to take the head down. Sometimes it doesn't. But I want you to give it a feel. Here, you're opening, either dropping that chest down or just lifting that head up. But you should feel this in your chest and your shoulder a little bit here. And you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Give it a try with the head down, deep breath in. Exhale. So we hold here. Again, you can hold this for up to two minutes. What you're gonna do after that is just angle that arm up and you're gonna see it goes up higher into the shoulder. So I'm just bringing my hand up a little bit, keeping a nice, it's more like an acute angle now. And I'm dropping the chest down or my head down, or I can keep it up. Give it a feel. Everyone's different. Sometimes it feels better with my head down, sometimes it doesn't. So we're breathing in through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. So after you hold that for at least 30 seconds, up to two minutes, you're gonna release that. Oh, and then you're gonna do the other side. So the other side is here, 90 degree angle, and take that back leg and bring it up. Drop the chest down and breathe. Same thing here, make sure you stay aligned. A lot of people end up like this. I want you to try to keep that 90 degree. It's gonna make a big difference. So drop the chest down, breathe, drop the head or not. You might even feel a little adjustment in that shoulder, depending. Keep breathing into it. Feels good on the back too. If you just let that leg relax open, don't force it. The looser you're here, the more this foot will touch the ground. And then we're gonna take that same arm up just a little bit more into the shoulders. Still stretching, breathing. It's actually been a while since I've done this and I'm very tight, so I'm feeling it. Release the head if you'd like. Breathe into it. Relax into it. One deep breath in. And exhale, let that go. Oh my goodness. All right, sit back into your heels. Heels together, knees are slightly open and stretch your arms forward. One deep breath in through your nose. And exhale out. We're gonna walk the hands to the left, just a little bit. Now what I want you guys to do is shift the weight to the right. So shift to the right. You're gonna feel it stretch along your right side. It should feel pretty good. I'm pushing into the floor with my glutes and I'm sitting to the right. I'm feeling that stretch along my back, along my side, my lats, and I'm gonna just try to keep my chest falling toward the ground. One deep breath in, exhale out. One deep breath in and exhale out. Stay here as long as you need. When you're done with that side, you're gonna do the same thing to the right. So now reach to the right, now shift your weight to the left. You're stretching this whole side here. It should feel amazing. 
and or very tight, which means this is something you should be doing every day. One deep breath in. Exhale out. One deep breath in. Exhale out. Good. You're gonna come back to the center. One deep breath in. I always love to reset. Exhale out. One more deep breath in. And exhale. Good. So from here, go on to all fours. We're just going to stretch out the wrist. It's really important, especially doing all the type of workouts we do. So your fingers are going to point toward you. Knees are stacked. And you're going to shift the weight back as much as you can. Some of us, this will be it. Some of us will be able to actually sit back. Now you want to keep that part down at the top. So press into the ground, pull your shoulders back, breathe. Go where you can. You can hold this for up to two minutes, three minutes. It's a crazy, but just try to get 30 seconds in if you can in a day. Especially if you're on the phone a lot, computer, which a lot of us are doing right now. So this is great. So after that, you're gonna just turn the palms up, keep the fingers facing toward you. One thing here to roll those shoulders back, extend now, sit back if you can. A lot of people are gonna be here, just do your best to lengthen. Roll your shoulders back and stretch it out. Yeah, feels good now. One deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out. Good. All right, I always like to kind of get in my knuckles, stretch my fingers out a little bit. It's totally up to you. Take those fingers intertwine and figure eight. Go the other way. Go the other way. See, I can do one really good. The other way, not so much. Shake it up. Good. All right, we're getting close to finishing. Let's just do cat and dog tilt here. So knees are under the hips, wrists are under the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Roll those shoulders back and lift your chin up. Really just let your belly drop. And on the exhale, press into the ground. Tuck your hip bones up toward the rib cage. Tuck your chin all the way in. Pull your belly button up. So the upper back is really pulling up toward the ceiling. And inhale, stretch. Feel free to kind of move around with those hips. Go where you need to. And then exhale, come back up. Inhale, stretch. Exhale round. Inhale, lengthen. Roll those shoulders back. Breathe. Exhale round, squeeze the abs in. You can go anywhere from five to 10 of these bad boys. Shake your head. Pull that chin in and inhale, lengthen. Exhale round. Squeeze it in. We're gonna do one more complete set. Really pull those shoulder blades apart. And then inhale, stretch. Breathe in. Last one. Exhale, round, squeeze in. Again, shoulder blades, pull them apart. Woo. And inhale, come back into your center. So um, let's just finish right here. A couple more things. You're gonna bring your left knee forward, half pigeon. I don't know why it's called half pigeon, but it is. So we're here. What I want you guys to make sure of is that your hips stay even. So I'm not here sitting on my left glute. Hip bones are even. We're gonna press into the floor, roll the shoulders back. Lift that chest up. You're gonna feel that stretch in the right leg, right hip. Deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Now some of us are here. Some of us can come here and some of us can come all the way down. This left hip for me, a lot easier than my right hip. So I, I can do more with this. On my right side, I'm gonna to have to respect it a little bit differently. So we're down, try to reach those arms forward if you can and breathe into it. Even if you're here, you're gonna practice on working on getting all the way down to the floor. Right hip is still facing forward. We're breathing in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Again, holding this at least 30 seconds. 
but if you can longer. Once you're done here, you're gonna come up, you're gonna shift your weight to the left, swing that right leg over. Now, if this is too challenging, you can sit on a pillow or a block, okay? What you want is this foot, this right foot to come over. If not, you can always bring it here. Both sit bones have to be on the floor. If they're not on the floor and you're tilted, I want you to sit on a block or a pillow. Pull this knee in, take this arm behind you and push into the floor. So you're gonna open your chest and rotate to the right. Again, my right sit bone is down. Both are. Open the chest and breathe. This hand is close to my glute. As you can see right here, I'm gonna push into the floor, build a wall with your spine and twist. Deep breath in. Exhale out. One more deep breath in. And exhale. Now, again, we can hold these as long as we want, but I'm just kind of flowing into each one so you have kind of a sequence to go to when you need it. Both hip bones are down again. Knees are now stacked. Again, if you're sitting on that block or pillow, stay there. You're gonna lengthen your spine and you're gonna fold forward. This is gonna get into the outside of those glutes right there, those hips. If you can, try to take your arms forward, spread those fingers and push back and then drop your chest down. And then push back and drop your chest down. So sitting stacked. This is really difficult for a lot of people. So if you're here, just respect it. If you're here, respect it, or if you can come all the way down, great. One deep breath in. Exhale out. And the coolest part is this right leg is ready to go into our next stretch. So we did the left, now we're gonna do the right. So the right one's gonna come forward, and now we are in our half pigeon. This foot is slightly out. Left hip is down and even. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale come all the way down come where you can respect and breathe <sighs> keep those shoulders pulling back oh this feels great doesn't it you're like yeah yeah kind of it does very important to do these stretches you don't have to do these every day but i would love for you guys to do these throughout the week at least three four times Okay, shift your weight to the right. Now take that left leg and swing it around. You see, we're already on the other side. Both sit bones are down, respect. Sit on the, on the uh, block or pillow. Hug that knee into your chest and take that arm around and build a wall with your spine and twist. One deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out. So left sit bone is down, one deep breath in. And exhale out. Keep hugging that knee. You're gonna feel that stretch. And then last thing right here, guys, stack your knees as best as you can. Sit as tall as you can, deep breath in. And exhale, we're gonna come forward. Again, both sit bones are down on the block or the floor. Now push into the floor, sit back and drop that chest down. One deep breath in. And exhale, try to fold forward. One deep breath in. And exhale. And when you're ready, you're gonna let this go and untwist those feet. Okay, you guys. So this is a nice little sequence that I do regularly throughout the week. Um, took about 30 minutes. Now you can cut it in half. You can take se segments of this uh, um, stretch video and split it up, you know, couple every day. Um, but it is important to stretch, especially when you're working your body so much. I think a lot of people forget when they get back into working out, they're sore. It's like, you also have to stretch, you also have to rest, and you have to most importantly, listen to your body. Okay, so make sure you incorporate some of these stretches. I'll be doing more videos like this because there's so much more we can do. But take some of these, implement them into your workouts, implement them into your daily routine. And until next time, you guys, stay strong.